Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's Place, courtesy of St. Louis Bourbon Society. And today we have this bad boy, Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof, our recent pick. Um, I would say it's a fresh crack, but you can tell I'd be lying because since Thursday, I put a good dent in this bottle. Why do you ask? Because it's amazing. Now I poured this bit about 15 minutes ago for a reason. Barrel proof bourbon, high proof stuff like this, you want with the ethanol kind of waft off the liquid as much as possible. Now you can blow in the glass a bit, get rid of it for sure. But I like to let this sit for a little bit, at least a few minutes, but 10, 15, 20 minutes is optimal. Now what do we have here? 125.5 proof barrel pick, Elijah Craig barrel proof, nine year old stuff. And let's just say, daddy like, this is amazing. The nose on this is all vanilla, brown sugar, leather, classic bourbon flavors. Things I expect, but they're amped up quite a bit. On the palate, It just follows right through. Again, every classic bourbon flavor you, you've come to love, the sweetness, a bit of cherry, the deep vanilla flavors, um, and tobacco notes, it's all right there on the nose, on the palate, and that finish is nice and long and a little hot. I like that. <laughs> so why do I like this so much? Let's just say last year, the um, distillery releases, the A, B, and C, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof releases were a little underwhelming. Not bad stuff, just not up to what I was used to having in previous years. This one, however, reminds me a lot of their C919 release, which is probably my favorite Elijah Craig Barrel Proof I've tasted. I've not had them all, but I did love that one. And this little bad boy, is a favorite. Now friends, if you didn't get a bottle of this, we only had so many bottles. Now high proof barrels like this that are 9, 10, 12 years old, you don't get the yield you do from younger bourbons. Plus this isn't cut with water. So they haven't taken the juice and extended it across more bottles by adding water. So 140-ish bottles, I think, don't quote me on that. And uh, it goes really quickly. Now, good news. We have a second Elijah Craig Brow Proof coming out, I think in April. So we'll see you then. Until then, take care, guys. Have a great weekend.